Yo, yo, thanks for tuning in to Tables Hop Jocks. First and foremost, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe. And if you already are and you want to give a little bit more, go ahead and join that Patreon. We're in Discord playing Spell Table Magic. We're doing TTRPGs. We're doing D&D one-shots. They're doing fantasy football bets. All kinds of stuff going on. The community is growing. So if you want to grow with us, go ahead and holler at your boy. when you're hanging with the homies and it's game night and somebody's like you know what one last game well i hate to say it but uh you're gonna have about five more of those last games <laughs> that's why we have teamed up with mini worlds tavern to give you some coffee for those special occasions when uh you're gonna have multiple last games <laughs> or when you're tired in the morning after those multiple last games and you're tired from not sleeping all night hmm. i'm sorry Many Worlds Tavern is an online coffee company and, uh, you know, coffee for game night. <laughs> and uh, my personal favorite is the Dragon's Nest. And they are also giving back. For every bag you purchase, they are giving $1 to a gaming nonprofit. Their feature product is the Treasured Realm. Only 400 bags, y'all. Y'all better act on it. <laughs> it comes with a numbered card, a limited edition sticker, aw, a D&D 5e magic item, and a set of dice. The first 100 viewers to click this link will get 10% off their entire order. How can you be mad at that? Stay up, y'all. Hey, Joe, did you hear the latest about the gaming news? Oh, huh. yeah. Oh, Joe, you hear about the D&D news? Yep, uh, got it right here. You guys heard about this new magic news? It's blowing my mind! Okay, um, yeah, I also heard that too, uh-huh. What? How? Just go to bellofallsouls.net. That's literally everything you guys were just talking about. <laughs> I mean, I've known about this stuff for days now. I gotta keep up. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Joe Johnson, aka Black Nito, aka Bushido Brown, and welcome to Tabletop Jocks. Yes. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I'd, I'd slide it in there. I'd slide it in there. Uh, I was trying to be cool. I was trying to be like all cool, and then it just slide into the DMs. <laughs> uh, first and foremost, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, yeah. and uh, comment. And uh, you know, if, if it's bad, then we'll just delete that shit. Delete, delete, delete. Fuck that. Uh, <laughs> it's true. It's true. Fuck, Fuck assholes. Fuck you like my dating history from my phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you really like what you got going on uh, and you want to support more, hit that Patreon up because uh, we are doing some thang yangs. Uh, we got some good stuff going on. Uh, yeah, and like I said, I'm Joe Johnson. He, him, pronouns. I am playing today Hendrix, Hendrix Jackson. I'm eight years old and I don't fuck around, okay? <laughs> so uh, I'm a human and you know what I mean? It's like, if you ever seen the Boondocks, and you've seen Riley Freeman, you might know that cat. He might be a little bit like me, but I'm better. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we getting it in, and uh, my pronouns are he, him. Run up. I got I got these hands. They're ready to eat for everyone. Please, please <laughs> say something. Woo! <laughs> That's a hard to follow. That, that's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. Um... Hello, everybody. My name is KP. I go by KP Living Studios, and I am playing Veda Venkata Narasimha Vishwa Shastri. I, I, I forgot my own goddamn name because it's so goddamn long. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what was... I what never was? forget things in my life. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am. Um, Ma'am. Both of us go by he, him, and I am a Loxodon cleric. It's been a fantastic time to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Michael Sinclair II. I go by Michael Chris everywhere. Uh, my pronouns are he, him. I'm playing Dr. Timothy Luttrell. Uh, mm. He is a male human wizard. Um, you know, he, he, you might, he might sound a little bit like... Uh, 
Freeman from or Granddad from the Boondocks as well. So you're gonna hear a little bit. <laughs> and my baby and she loves. <laughs> so if you if you see that, um, that's what's happening. Uh, I will I will pass it better. I'll pass it to my uh, better counterpart over here. <laughs> so much culture already. <laughs> right. Hi, I'm Josephine McAdam. I am at JCVIM everywhere. You can use she or any pronouns for me. And I am playing Odin Din, little <laughs> halfling uh, sorcerer. And um, uh, I'm, I'm shacked up with uh, Dr. Latrell right now. <laughs> and I'm very excited to play she, her. Mm-hmm. Protect. Okay, protect. And oh, yes. she's protect. two foot ten. Yes, protect. <laughs> Absolutely protect. A tall two foot ten. Yes. Uh, <laughs> very tall two foot ten. Tall energy. Round it up, of course. <laughs> of course. Oh, me? Me? You want to know who I am? You want to know who the fuck I am? I'm Persephone. I'm known as Persephone everywhere online. And I am playing Jacody Lenifkifer. <laughs> she might be familiar in tone to someone that you may have seen in a Cinderella story, or White Lotus, or you know, maybe some special sites on Pornhub, you never know. <laughs> I'm all over the place. My pronouns, just like my player, are she or her. I like big dicks and long walks on the ocean, and I'm here for a good time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, like that. Is that the R you were looking for? <laughs> that, is, that is perfect. Perfect. That's fucking perfect. <laughs> Let me hand it over to the person next to me. <laughs> Follow that <laughs> shit. <laughs> be more raunchy. Do your best, sweetie. Make it work. Listen, Matt, be more raunchy. Uh, Just be more raunchy. Uh, a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, boy. Uh, well, hi, my name is Matthew Mercer. I'm uh, at Matthew Mercer on some socials and stuff like that. Uh, I. Uh, he, him, and myself, and as well as my character, who is uh, Humphrey Dweebs. He's, uh, oh. he's a kobold artificer and a uh, specific specialist on maintaining the grounds uh, and various flora and fauna that surround the space in which this adventure takes place. So, uh, <laughs> I'll see you in the game. Oh. So cute. So so you say this I'll, now! <laughs> I'll say it all the time. <laughs> Also protect. Um, yeah. <laughs> I as a DM cannot say that. Um, that being said, my name is. My name Ooh, is Lexi. We're gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? And it's gonna be glorious. I'm uh, fine with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's gonna be great. My name is Lexi, otherwise known as Black Girl Mage. Um, you can find me on Twitter and Twitch as the Black Girl Mage. Um, and I'm your dungeon master for today. So Ooh. I'm so excited to see what these players come up with. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so excited um, to get into this one shot, um, Joe. All right, and uh, yeah, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, pass it back to you because <laughs> I didn't really have anything else to no, say. No, you hang up, Joe. You hang up. I mean, oh, just sure. pass it back and forth <laughs> like I do myself on the side. Just a real question. I'm sorry, okay. just for me. <laughs> <laughs> So with that, let's go ahead and jump into Mirius Mibbledon's Museum of Magic and Wonder. Ooh. Mirius Mibbledon's Museum of Magic and Wonder is the premier place for showcasing the adventuring accomplishments of the exemplar of all heroes at the 20th ca level category of the Adventurers Guild. Traveling the world from the edges of the Horizon City to the floating continent of Requiem, Mirius has gathered all of his collections, treasures, and discoveries right here at this museum where you all have been gathered for the night shift. Now, normally, you don't work the night shift. You all are day folk, um, but Marius has a special shipment that is coming in, and normally he's out adventuring, um, conquering the countryside and seeing everything he can and talking to people and figuring out what's respectable to return back and um, display at his museum, but he's back and he's asked you all to come in for the night shift. That's where we find you. Um, before I ask you all to describe your characters, we got these amazing character tokens from uh, Hero Forge. Forge. I was <laughs> 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 Hero Forge. 
I am going to ask you all to tell me where exactly you put. So I'm going to pass these down. This one's oh, yours. Okay. Oh, right. so okay. I'm going to pass these down. Oh, my God. Let me know where you're at. So we've got the sculpture park right here in the front. The front desk is right in front of that. So to the left are all of the exhibits. <laughs> um, and then if there's anywhere else you think you would find yourself, with, whether that's the auditor zonatorium, which is where you can find videos about Murius, uh, the kids' cove, where the children <laughs> rip apart anything that lives nope. there. Um, <laughs> that is perfectly fine. You could also be in the staff room or the cafe, which is right here on the corner. Uh, also, the uh, Humphreys over here trying to uh, get this uh, current uh, frustrating layer of unexpected overgrowth that's currently <laughs> filling in the gaps between some of these statues. It's been a year-long uh, tirade. Oh, oh yeah. Working on it. That's right. I'm going to be at the front grilling everyone that comes in because I'm a security guard. Perfect. Would you mind placing that for me? <laughs> Just right in the front. Where that little desk is. You want the right best here. display right at the what? front door. Here. Yeah, that is the front there desk. We. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. You can be at the back with the storage stuff. Or the no, shit. it's fine. Everyone comes in the front, they get to stare at my back. It's, okay. it's true. <laughs> it's true. Yes. Uh, um, then uh, perhaps I'll be here staring at the back. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. 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 Just, I'm taking, letting people in and also twerking. <laughs> very Lizzo, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very. Very. <laughs> I'm uh, trying to focus on these kids who are coming in trying to get educated and not look Aww. at the twerking lady. Uh, <laughs> kids, uh, Listen, right, they gotta I, learn at some point. <laughs> kids, right over here. Mm -hmm. Oh my oh gosh. Oh boy. Where's the newly shipments coming in? That bat, where the trash cans are. That I where probably, am I the trash cans? <laughs> that's fine. Uh, that's, that's, fine. The, that's the back loading area. Okay. But I'm over there, the new shipments, making sure as the new tour guide, I understand what's happening and what is our new stuff that is coming in so I can be prepared for tomorrow. Absolutely. All right, where's the cafe? <laughs> the cafe is right all the way over there. Yeah, me. We got gotcha. you. We got gotcha. you. my badass is cleaning up because oh, I, I, was, I was fucking around and I found out and now I got, I got detention, so I got to clean out oh. the cafe oh, because Aww. I was, yeah. I was, you know, I stole some flowers from my grandmama. It's all good. Aww. I just so want to point out I'm the brown man in the very back on a scary show. <laughs> <laughs> am, am I fucked? Oh, shit. Did I fuck myself this is over? Game. Am I screwed? <laughs> Everyone, get rid of your DD Yanshis. We're gonna pull up Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So everybody who it doesn't pass the paperback has to go to that first. Yes. God damn it. <laughs> so that's like me or darker. Actually, <laughs> who's wearing the yellow shirt? That's true. Really um, <laughs> I think there's yellow on me, actually. So we're, I don't want we'll to know. We'll start with you. Oh, no. <laughs> Amazing. But well, that's the best place to start. Absolutely. So we'll start with you and Odin. Um, you two are standing in the front. Uh, it is getting way towards sundown. People are kind of filtering out. Some people are filtering in. And you see this huge family. It is two minutes to close. You see a huge family of... Minotaurs and elves all kind of coming in and they're like, yeah, over here is where we can see the cool battle pug exhibit. We should go in there. No. <laughs> uh, Do you see that to the entire family? Yeah. Yeah. So they walk in, <laughs> the, the matron of the family kind of turns around and it's like, oh, hi, how are you? I'm great because you're not coming in. Oh, well, 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 let's hear them out. It's two minutes to close. Do you want to be here forever? Just worked so hard to procure those pugs. Were you? you I changed my accent so fast. Whatever, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Were you the one who set up the pugs? Yeah, well, someone else sets them, but I, I located those pugs, yes. Oh my god, they're so cool. I've heard about them. I'm all the way from Horizon City, and I'm just coming in, and I flew, uh, flew all the way here. Well, and you're telling me a lot of information. <laughs> well, how many yeah. days are you staying here? Do you need to see it tonight? No, I guess I don't, but I'm already here. So. Well, let, oh my god. Let, me, let me just take you right on over. Uh, it, what, you oh. worked so hard on the pugs. Uh, Thank you, honey. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, fine, fine. You got 20 minutes. 20 minutes? We're about to close, honey. Oh, okay, that makes sense. We'll be fast, we'll be fast. It's okay, fine, 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 you're nice. You can take as long as you want. 
not my fault that we're just about to close and I'm grumpy. Oh, well, well, you just keep on, uh, we'll turn up some more music for you. Okay, I'll keep twerking. Right this way, right this uh, yeah, no, come on, move, yeah. It is a family, it's like a minotaur father and elven mother. It's a another partner that is dwarven and they have like a handful of kids. Oh wait, they're polyamorous and oh, they're, You can stay as long as you want. <laughs> come on in. It's fine, we got a lot of stuff to close up. Go ahead, just go. Exactly Enjoy the entire museum. They start following you, Dr. Luttrell, into the um, exhibits. You pass by a bunch of exhibits, so um, you're kind of walking through it. Yeah, you can move yourself around. I'm gonna as you follow. enter, there are, oh yeah, absolutely. There are a bunch of exhibits that you're gonna see. Um, so to the left of you all right now, you see there's a nightmare exhibit. It is beautiful on one side, um, which you are not standing on, but on one side, you would know this, there is a holographic white pearlescent horse that invites people to come get closer to it. But then the second you get closer, it shimmers and immediately the appearance changes. It is a black, um, black coated horse with fire roaring down its back. Um, so a literal nightmare. Uh, uh, that is <laughs> that is what's happening there. Um, you enter the room directly to see the battle pugs in one corner, um, and this entire room is just a recollection of a war that the battle pugs were actually key in winning um, between ogres and humans, and the battle pugs were a third party that kind of came <laughs> through and were like, we're gonna stop this goddamn war by using, like, reconnaissance and shit like that. Um, so the battle pugs are highly respected in this world. Of course. Um, they have a whole exhibit uh, dedicated to them. There's a few other exhibits. There's uh, more elemental beings in the next room. There's art pieces hung up everywhere, showing these like holographic movements, very quick, but like vivid movements, movements of uh, monsters that Nereus himself has encountered. Um, you take them into that room, they kind of start standing around and moving and looking around at other things. Um, after Jaconi says that they can stay, that name is amazing. Um, <laughs> Jaconi Lenifka After Jaconi says it's they can French. stick around. Yes. Um, <laughs> Sylvan. Something. Sylvan, thank you, yes. Same. Um, after Jaconi says they can hang around, you see they start to spread out, the kids start taking interest in certain things. You two are left in this room. Um, this room that you two have both procured and created. Um, what would you like to do? Where would you like to go? Honey, make sure that they don't mess up anything. Oh, oh, oh all right. Uh, children, uh, come over here. Uh, as you can see, this is a nightmare. Um, look at all the nightmares around here. There's a lot of people like I did well, before I got- You have more to say, you have more to say than that. Yeah, what? Well, I, I know you've got more in there. I don't want to get too personal with the kids. Oh, oh they you don't, don't, need don't to... tell them that story. <laughs> <laughs> What am I supposed to tell them? About the nightmare, honey. That's what I said. The nightmares were about. Oh. Uh, let me tell you about the second lady I dated. Come here, children. <laughs> and uh, as so... you say that, <laughs> we're going to cut to the cafe <laughs> where we find uh, Hendrix, who is, yeah, you are sweeping the floors. Um, there oh, is shit. an older lady <laughs> standing at the cafe, and she's like, yeah, absolutely. I can just, yeah, that'll be $4. Yep, mm -hmm. I'm taking that from you. Yep, great. Uh, hands out a little tiny scone that is definitely worth less than $4. Um, but she's doing that. There is a grown human that is like really buff in the chest, very wild barrel, barrel chested. Um, and he's got a little tiny like pseudo dragon on his shoulder that's just kind of skimpering around. And he comes over to you as you're sweeping. Um, and this woman is tending the bar. He says, how sweeping goes. The fuck you mean how sweeping goes? <laughs> I gave you the broom 30 minutes ago. Yeah. You're still in the same block. I'm confused. Well, this place dusty as fuck. So <laughs> maybe uh, let me do my job and stop harassing me so I can get this shit done. You feel me? Intimidation check. <laughs> Her, was, was, yeah. was the character intimidated or was you intimidated? I think the character is like, <laughs> oh, man. 
a kid. What the fuck? I'm still, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still I'm like, scared. Right? Yeah, no, I'm scared. scared. Don't worry. It's, your, it's the first roll of the night. Don't worry. Yeah, you, got you, got you got it. You got it. Remember, right. remember what we said what will happen in that one. Scared this barrel chested man. Yes. Roll the line. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's a dirty 20. Ooh. Oh. That's a good. Love everyone there. Yes. We're gonna die. <laughs> I'm in danger. Um, he, his eyes go wide at you. And he looks down and he says, "Fine, kid. Listen, I'm just your advisor. Since you were supposed to go to, you know, ju juvie, that's where you were going to go. But you are here now, and I'm here to check on you. Okay." Keep sweeping your block. Yeah, I should make you sweep. <laughs> he stands there for a very long moment, thinking you're actually gonna do it, and he just turns and goes back to the door. Um, he's specifically in charge of making sure that none of the food leaves the cafe, so he just stands at the door of the cafe. Um, just as soon as he walks away, he's gonna yell back to you and say, also, um, I know that you're here for night shift. Uh, Mirius wants to meet you at the back, uh, in the loading docks, uh, nor near his office, just to let you know. So before this place closes, just head back there. Cause he been out trying to funny shit. Cause I seen that shit on TV, and uh, I will break this in half and break him. Yes, no, it's fine. Uh, he's barely <laughs> no. You're good. I, I. That's what I'm saying. Everyone in night shift is headed back there. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, fair. That's you're cool. Good. Promise. Um, you are. Well, that's, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stand at the door. Um, he goes back to the door and stands. Um, let's see who we can cut over to next. So we've got the cafe. You already know that you're headed back when your shift is done. You two already are hanging out in the gallery, hearing uncomfortable stories about the second girl that Dr. Latrell dated. Um, is it uncomfortable? We'll let the crowd decide. Um, <laughs> it's gotta be right. It's, yeah, yeah. it's, it's uncomfortable. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uncomfortable in general or uncomfortable for kids to hear? Oh. oh Those I, are two separate things. That is true. A little bit of both. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. Like a little bit It's like an awkward <laughs> scene. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, oh, children, this is good grown phone talk. You, you, it's grown folk yeah. talk. You got to hear it at some point. You go get the bees. Birds and the bees. Oh, my God. You're getting it tonight. Um, Roll for performance real quick. <laughs> you can do it for advantage because you've got, like, your wife, like, right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I usually do help with that. Oh, no. These are Michael oh, honey, rolls. You're not making <laughs> <laughs> Classic Michael rolls. That's some Michael rolls. Uh, I'm waiting on that nat one, man. Uh, it'll happen in this game. I'm, I it's know it's happen. It would happen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. it's a 10. A 10. Um, like, wife number two, sure, it was a 10, but uh, <laughs> she did need some help. You were talking for too long. Like, these kids <laughs> these kids want to go see, and they're like, but the battle plugs, and their parents have like, gone to other places and they're just stuck there and they don't know how to actually exit to the vicinity. It's just like six kids that are listening to you talk about your ex for <laughs> 10 minutes. I'm sorry. Wipe number three then. Uh, this nightmare, uh, you know, uh, hey, canvas right here. Honey, 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 honey. You know, save these poor, poor souls. I think they want to move on now. Children, just, you know, just keep, just walk away. It works for me. It'll work for you. <laughs> they start stepping one step at a time backwards, and then they all start in a certain direction towards their parents in the other room. You try and form the kids of the future, and know, they don't want to hear it. I know, I know, I'll listen, just keep going. And so like I was eyes. saying, wife number three, she never listen. Big snores. Um, <laughs> perfect, we're gonna cut over to Humphrey, actually. Mm. You are dealing with the magical topiaries in the sculpture part, or sculpture part. Um, these are all different creatures that animate themselves. Mirius has done some work finding enchantments and people that will enchant his um, topiaries to take the form of these momentous monsters. Um, so we've got cool things. We've got like an obelisk with a squid on it. We've got uh, a carrion worm. You've got a purple wormling. Um, there's also a topiary of the Bekai, like a, like a vibrant tableau of these spirits and festivities and overindulgence that like last for like five seconds and then they go back and reset and then they 
go back to partying. Um, there's so there's goggles on, kind of this orange tan like scales, like a weird spoon like device, like scraping green away from them. It's like, oh, it'd be really great if you could like enchant one of these to not, you know, take on all the invasive species that keep hurting their way into this area. Yes. So you're working, which one are you working on? You've got um, those three. One this one right here, the large kind of like weird bulbous uh, warm thing. <laughs> Perfect. Which makes me Perfect. Yes. Yes. Want to talk about exploitation? Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> I love that. Um, <laughs> you see that your coworker, the other gardener, um, you've come in for the night shift. This other gardener's about to leave. Um, she walks up to you and she's like, um, Humphrey? I'm working. What's up? So uh, I I ran into a little bit of an. It oh, you're already. You're already prying at. That's what I was going to talk to you about. That wasn't. Yeah, I'm good at my job. I just jump in. I'm a self starter. I have initiative. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, see, I just didn't want to do it. Um, <laughs> My shift's over, so you got it? Sure. Yeah, I'll just. Uh, I got it. Cool, great. Do you need me to. You know, you got this. I'm going to go. Um, And she turns <laughs> around and she walks into the front desk, clocks out, and leaves. Um, as she walks back out, she says, uh, I think that Ramirez wanted you to, uh, meet him in the back. Um, if you're not too busy, you know. No, no I got nothing else going on, you know, because you did such a great job finishing up the Oh, thank so. you! <laughs> thank you! Have a good night! I love, you know, I was very happy that I got Employee of the Month last month oh. and this month. Me too! Uh, well earned! Yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe next time. Um, she walks away. <laughs> just turns away. Wow, that was a series of curses and drug money beneath my breath before, like, riding my harness and my pack on my back and I keep all my tools and, like, all right, let's, uh, let's talk to Marius and see if maybe he can recognize a proper employee. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, what I'm going to say is that sunset happens. You all are at the end of your shift and you all start to head to, like, you two would not have gotten word by now, but the rest of everyone heading back probably lets you know, you know, Miri's called us in. Um, you all head to the back of the loading docks. Um, that's where we're gonna find Veda. Um, so, Veda, what are you doing right now? I'm taking inventory. It's just uh, one task, two. Uh, what? Is that a mind flare? Mind flare task. I mean, mind flare tentacle. That is fantastic. Wow, how did he get that? That's weird. Um, yeah. Well, that's there, that's there. Um, just taking our inventory. Just, oh, it's just boring as shit. <laughs> <sighs> you see one monster on the inventory that you've never heard of. Oh. Called the Awitzadl? No. Um, and it is- How do you pronounce that? Awitzadl. So A-H-U-I, wait, A-H-U-I-T-Z-O-T-L. Fucking English. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Um, so you see that and you're like, don't know. All these other parts are just like pieces and parts, parts of a Tarasque. This, like a bullet tail, something like that, where it's like specifically parts. This is a whole Alonsan. You're not really sure how that works, but you look over and you kind of see a huge storage bin and it oh. is, it's not moving. So you're like, oh, maybe the preservation techniques are kicking. I Tap it with my pen. Um, when you tap it, it doesn't have vacancy like a wooden box. It seems like it's filled with water. So it like reverberates. Huh. Yeah. Well, you see new things every day, don't you? Huh. Well, here's me signing the paper. That's done. Inventory is over with. Uh, that is a, what the hell is a, oh, ha. Huh. Oh. Well, <laughs> oh, I hate dust allergies. And who, sa who says bless you as they walk up to this back loading dock? Oh my god, bless you! <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, Are you good with the inventory? Well, we got... What's that? That is a... What's that? That is a... What's this? That is a... Well, which one are you pointing at now? All of it. Well, that is a... I lost interest. How okay. are you doing? Well, I'm lonely as shit. I have nothing going for me. I'm a freaking tour guide at a at a museum with a PhD, and okay, I don't know. Okay, so we're just hoping for like a good like uh, I'm doing fine. Like 
not your whole okay so not in photo conversation and actually make a uh, relationship but okay mm. i am doing fantastic obviously <laughs> look at me i'm so <laughs> glad you're doing uh, uh, uh fuck me <laughs> <laughs> maybe later is that a was that an offer no oh well figuratively funny. maybe oh i like to be I'm curious <laughs> <laughs> amazing um you all, I did not give you the chance to describe yourself. So as you oh. appear to Veda, let's go ahead and go down the line here. Just describe gonna... what you look like. Yes, absolutely. Um, you kind of describe it. You look like, we'll start with you, y'all. Sure. Uh, stepping in with a, a bit of a frustrated huff, you see a, uh, a male kobold, kind of like orangish tan scales, a series of horns, and a bit of kind of like a mutton chop deal going on, like a light gray that's built on the side. Thick, thick goggles that consume kind of the majority of the face beyond the snout that pokes out and kind of curves forward a bit. Uh, just batches of pouches and a large backpack and all sorts of things that he feels he needs to maintain the topiary in the front, which is a constant battle, and nobody seems to appreciate the work that goes into it, but that's fine, you know, that's a good job. He's rewarding himself. <laughs> Uh, he enters with a few like tools kind of clinging at the sides as he glances over at the two of you, kind of sort of mm. maybe flirting, but maybe not. And just kind of, <laughs> and, I'm just gonna be who knows? <laughs> Question mark? Yeah. Maybe, I, yes, no. Where's Merrimut? I'm sorry, what? Where's the where's the Merrimus? I was uh, told to come back here and uh Oh yes, uh, you're the janitor. I'm sorry. I, I think I, custodial I, professional is better. Oh, or we're going back. Oh, they all have new titles. And Don't things. be rude. I'm not trying to be rude. It's his job. It's You're true. a tour guide. Do you like I the way that I sounds? I do like a tour guide. Do you like that? Do you like no. the way it sounds? Well, I mean, then call it by a different name. Oh, well, I'm going to go by knowledgeable. You're a customer concierge or something. Rude. Well, actually, not quite. That but wasn't rude. That's was better than tour guide. Hungry takes a deep swig of a brackish <laughs> vial. Yeah, it's one drink. Gardener, tour guide, what was your name again? Uh, my name's Humphrey. Humphrey, Humphrey. Uh, well, uh, can you move that over there? Then you move it. We have a, quite a few new shipments. We need the manpower, and clearly you're the man for the job, or cobalt for the job. You know what? It's nice to feel appreciated. Right. Puts the vial away and walks over. Yeah. I don't know who that is. Does he have an employee? <laughs> You're extremely rude. I'm not trying to be. I just I have very bad memory. Okay. Uh -huh. As I, I do, uh -huh. listen. They yeah, say don't have a fantastic memory that they can remember. That, that is a misnomer. Honey, we I want to remind you. Your tour guide here. Your position is like here. Hundreds of years ago. And everyone else that's gonna walk in is like here. Hundreds of years ago, I can remember all this shit. Okay. Hundreds uh -huh. of information. So you're very old. I'm glad you're proud of it. You look it. Okay. That, Just crying that. to themselves. See, see those tears? See those tears? I'm not crying. Turn them that into respect tears. for some people that matter. I did. I was addressing it. I thought that was his job. As I'm I dragging this, this thing over as hard as I can, slowly, you like, centimeter by centimeter. So like, <laughs> time agricultural maintenance specialist. See, you should have gone with that. I didn't know. Jaconi, would you like to describe yourself? I would love to describe myself. I love talking about myself. So I am a tall one feet, one foot fairy. Like a whole lot of women in that one foot. Oh yeah. Extremely curvy, very proud of it. Dark brown skin, blonde hair that's totally natural. Ignore oh, the yeah. four inches of black roots that are growing in. It's um, for a one foot fairy. Yeah. <laughs> I have extremely long hair. I have the ability to enlarge myself, but I don't need to change for anyone, especially not a man, um, which I don't currently have, and I'm looking for several. Um, I'm the security specialist here. Don't let my size fool you. I'm a lot of women, and I can break a lot of legs with magic, of course. Hi. And after this happens, you see Humphrey pulling centimeter after centimeter, you two walk up. Would you like to both describe yourselves? Oh, yes. Uh, Odin, I already mentioned two foot ten, uh, crouched over, she's got white tufts of hair that are piled on top and like three little bun things, clouds of white hair, huge glasses that magnify her eyes and just full of wrinkles and 
and and uh, always has a little stool and a walking a walking stick with her and she's just uh, in very bright colors lots of gemstones and jewelry she is the curator of the museum just loves curating anything she can get her hands on especially a husband number seven here <laughs> <laughs> Multiple married between the both of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Go for it. Yes. Uh, I'm uh, Timothy Luttrell. Um, so I have a, a nice kangaroo hat that adorns my my hat as a uh, customary, uh, and I, I'm a. a an uh, old looking black man. I got a uh, nice little cane on me. Uh, one of those uh, spectacles, those one glass spectacles on my eye. Uh, I have a, a nice little suit on and, and some nice slacks. And I love that suit. I, you know, I wore it for you today. I, I, know. I know. Oh, I noticed. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> oh, let me. Uh, that's Odin's new shipment. Uh, baby, can I can I go help the? Yeah. Oh, please do. I'll and, watch. Uh, and I'm like, oh, I'm like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like come over with my cane and try and help you push. Are you just pushing with the cane? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I love sexually active old folks. It's great. You never great. see old folks be freaky, and I love it. Are yes. you kidding me? They're the I most like freaky. Is seeing them. Yeah. I worked in a nursing home for my first job. Like, oh no. Yeah, girl, so you're that's, goals, that's the default. Right. Yeah. 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 One, better way to go out. Fun fact: the massive <laughs> spread of STDs in North America yep, yep. is in nursing yep, homes. Yep. Oh, oh, yeah. No, that is, that is that's a, a cosign. Yeah. yeah. The more I'm proud of them. I'm happy for you them. Know, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I, I'm gonna push with my can and say, "Yo, man, uh, push with your back," and I'm just gonna like start. Only with my cane, I'm assisting him. Athletics, <laughs> both of you. <laughs> Dear God. Oh, uh, that was good. Oh yeah. What's wrong with your dice? That is my. It's not my dice. It's me. It's just I, you. I, I, what is wrong with it's you? you. <laughs> what Whoa. athletics? Uh, it's a six. Seventeen. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, you are pushing, and you just start pushing. You are pulling so much. At some point, it starts to move. Um, and you're pushing with your cane, and you think that it's you and your cane. But you're oh, not yeah. putting it anywhere. And honestly, you're making it harder. Baby, I still got it. Look at uh, I, 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 I see it. I see it. Appreciate the help here. You're just really. Young man, with your back, okay? <laughs> with your back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. So you start to push all of these shipments in. Um, just as Hendrix makes your way to the back. You are eight. <laughs> Let me just remind everyone, you're eight, yeah. like mm-hmm. fully a child. Um, Oddly taller than half the party. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like towering over some people. <laughs> what does Hendrix look like? All right, so he's like three foot five, but he gonna dunk one day, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's coming up soon. Uh, basically, you know what I'm saying? He got braids pulled to the back. He got the murder ones. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? That's all you get, you know, over the weekend from, uh, you know, the multiple girlfriends that he has. Um, you know what I mean? Because that's just what it is. Uh, you know, he got his whack ass, like, orange vest on that they made him wear to be like, yep. oh, he's getting temporary help or whatever. Whatever. I don't care about that shit. Uh, and then, <laughs> but I do it underneath. You know what I'm saying? I got that, uh, that fake Gucci because, you know what I'm saying? I can't afford it yet. But uh, one day, you know what I mean? You fake it till you make it. Um, <laughs> But I do got on the the, uh, the Space Jam J's. I do got on Space Jam J's because uh, that's that's real. That's real. Space Jam exists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's exactly. magic. As well as, as well as Gucci. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> as well as Gucci. Space Jammers. Every black <laughs> person, <laughs> every black person at this table knows his character already. Yep. yep. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Question: You're an eight year old, but you're here because of Juvie? I mean, I do a lot of shit. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Like a kid. Yeah. All right. All yeah. right. Whatever. True. You're hardcore. I. That's why I'm a hardcore rapper, but he's but it, but I'm but I'm I'm flossing, I'm flossing. <laughs> you know What's your uniform, young man? What's up? What's your uniform? Uh wait, where's my uniform? Yes. What is my uniform? Both. Both of those? Uh well, I'm here on temporary because I was stealing flowers from my mom, my mom. And I got stuck here doing juvie bullshit. So I see y'all here moving this shit. You need some help or something? Please. I got, you, I got you, fam. Let's do this. String check. Eh, I'm like, sorry. I don't know why I said string. 
I mean, I'm a barbarian, so yeah, I'm like. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. Glorious. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm oh. No one is terrified. What did what, 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 do? That is a 21. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Hendrix, you walk up. These two have been pulling. You walk up in one hand, just like, okay, was this shit hard? Uh, <laughs> and immediately start helping them organize things. You all are waiting for Mirius to show up. And you actually do see him pull up on horseback. Um, normally, you would get off of a horse by just like, you know, I'm going to step off. He does a fucking backflip off of this horse um, oh. and lands three-point landing in front of you, stands up, dusts himself off. You see, Mirius is this beautiful dwarf man, like <laughs> long hair all the way down, should get in the way of fighting, but he never lets it. Um, he's got glorious... <sighs> um, it's L'Oreal. Um, no, just kidding. It's <laughs> made a tail. He's on a horse. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Horse girls know that mane and tail is actually really good for your hair. That's yeah, that's heard. a fact. I'm a yeah. horse girl. That but it is yeah. having silicone, so like, <laughs> not us. No, 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 no. Um, he's very much, uh, he's kind of more olive toned, uh, looking more of like, I don't know. You would just say that he's kind of tanner. He's got long black hair, um, very thick eyebrows. Over his shoulder that skitters across um, is a cute little, it kind of looks like a cat, but it's actually kind of mixed with a raccoon, um, long striped tail, but the body is lithe. Um, and it is like red. Uh, it is a cute little red panda that skitters oh. over his shoulders oh. and perches oh there. Um, this is, yeah, this is a very cute red panda, except it's got like one eye is kind of shut. It's got a scar. It's like, oh. bat it's got its own little armor. Yeah. It is battle ready. Yeah. 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 I could ride it like a steed. You could. You I could, could also ride him like a steed. Good. Good. That's a different scene. Hey, sexy dwarves, honestly. Sexy dwarves are a thing. Hey, respect. Sexy dwarves. Don't they don't. They don't. They don't. Built like a house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Brick. He will. Uh, Roadhouse. Late. <laughs> so, as I see Mr. Varys <laughs> approach, yes. Um, so you see a towering loxodon of yes. eight feet and a half. Walking up, quite oh long, you know, very slowly, but it's making seven. quite a noise. And you see him win very, not, well, a little too fancy for a tour guide attire. Like, he thinks he's a little more than what he actually oh, yeah. is. Um, very fancy attire. Um, you see him a little hunched over, but very wrinkly, brown skin, tusks that are going out, out forward with a, a bunch of ear earrings in his ears. And he says, oh, Mr. Uh, Marius, right? Marius. Marius. Mr. Beerus, uh, I just want you to know that I've already completed the inventory. I've noted everything down except for, it seems to, I don't know if this is a misspelling or, I mean, I, I take very <laughs> big pride in knowing all the words that you bring in all the time and I am a historical buff. I hope you know uh, I could do a lot more than just be a two guide. I just want to put it out there. But, but, but. Uh, I do want to say, because this misspelling, I don't quite understand what this new exhibit here is? Oh. Uh, is this meant to be spelled like this? What is this? Ah, uh, with saddle? Come again. Ah, uh, with saddle? Bless you. What is that one? Um, you know what? Everyone, I'm so happy you came. <laughs> what is it? It's so great to see everyone here. Oh, that's a fantastic thing. Thank you so we much. We kind of have to. We're paid to do that. Yeah, um, I'm not paying overtime. But let's go into my office. Wait, 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 wait what? What? You're not, you're not paying why? Oh, overtime. This is a night shift, you know? <laughs> yeah. Let's go in my office. We'll, we'll talk about what's going to happen tonight. It's going to be this. great. <laughs> you all are going to have so much fun tonight that you won't even miss the time and a half. It'll be fine. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You're getting less and less sexy by the moment. Uh, he flicks his hair and he's like, let's go! Uh, and he's gonna walk in. You don't have to move, but that little tiny room next to where all this your room tokens room. are, this little office. Um, this one. Yes. Um, not exactly super scale, but it's fine. We fit. We fit. You walk in and he says... <laughs> Three mistake one square. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's very you good. can move through allies' squares. That's right. Right. Oh, good. Yeah, you're yeah, good. Just stack us on top of each other. 
You want that, don't you? Oh my god, you don't even know. Oh my god. A group of fives becomes a ten when you stack them all together. Ew. Um, how many fives? Wait. I'm not good at math. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Um, you all walk into his office, and he just kind of says, I've been adventuring. And, you know, when you're doing such important work as adventuring, you know, being a level 20 per, uh, level 20 guild member, you are just, you find some interesting things out. And one of the things that I found out is this monster, this new monster. Everyone's heard of a Tarrasque. Everyone's heard of a Basilisk. Who cares about those, you know? <laughs> You're too true, too true. What's your name again? I, I, uh, my name is uh, Veda Venkata Shastri Narsimha Shastri. I totally mixed my name up. Yes. I hired you, yeah. yeah yes, you can call me Veda. I know it's a long name, but. Great. Uh, I'm a PhD, did I mention? You, you have a what? Never mind. I, Perfect. You, but I look over at Veda and I see someone who understands what we're talking about. The Awitsado is the most mysterious and magical creature. I found it in a cave and it tried to kill me, <gasps> but I wouldn't let it. I can't <laughs> imagine why. Yeah, I, it's wild. Monsters mm. see me and they just go nuts. Um, <laughs> they tried to kill me. I wouldn't let it, and I brought it back here. It is very special cargo, and I'm gonna need everyone's help setting up the actual exhibit for it tonight. Um, it's a very tricksy beast. Uh, it's encased in water right now, and a very special uh, warding enchantment that will keep it uh, stuck there. Um, but I'm hoping that I can release it, and we can just take care of it, right? We're all... We're Do we have an environment for it already set up? Do, I mean, most of the other exhibits have a specific location that we are yeah, using. Marius, uh, you're supposed to discuss this with us ahead of time. I'm the curator, the, 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 the design of the, of the exhi I exhibit. I just love your brain and how it works. It's so, when I surprise you with things, reason. you come up with cool things, oh, and I just okay, love to play into the that. The is coming. You know. You know I'm dating her, right? What? Yeah, we are married, uh, Timothy. Married. We are married. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> so you two are a thing. Uh, let's not, let's not, no need to discuss history. None of you, you don't talk to each other, actually. <clears throat> so you were, okay, all right, we're together then. Cool. cool. <laughs> yes? Wait, am I feeling um, some tension here? Listen. I'm gonna leave. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna just leave the box with you all. And he's specifically. Wait, I wanna explore this specifically. Do you two have history? Oh, oh there's a lot of history in my history. Mm -hmm. So you don't even remember. You don't remember. Huh? Wait, look, there's no. a reason he's number five, okay? He's your fifth husband? I wanna grow up to be you. Oh, well, you're right on track. Oh my <laughs> god. Maybe I'll even get taller. Um, I don't like you. I feel comfortable saying that. I'm glad you feel comfortable saying that. It's mm. important that we keep an open feedback loop in this uh, in our world, you know? Question, though. Yes. How dangerous is this creature that we don't have an environment for and we don't have anything set up for that we do actively have people in the museum right now? Not at We have people I, in the, It's a closing time. Uh, why, is there, why is there people? There are people because there was a very nice family that wanted to come through to see the exhibits, okay? Oh, okay, okay, that's fine. All right, do you have a problem with that? No, 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 no just... I didn't think so. Anyway, there's people here. I would say it's not that dangerous, but I am a level 20 adventurous guild member. Not um, everyone here is a level 20 adventurous guild member. I mean, I was in the date. She was too. Oh, we were, yeah, we've seen. We've, we've seen. seen. We've done it. We've it. done it. It's, <laughs> it's how we met. But it's okay, <laughs> all right, all right. Twenty-one. If you must know, I was a twenty-one adventurer. Oh, oh, really? You, you were twenty-one. Twenty-one over here. <laughs> See, okay, it's fine. You're just upgrading. It's fine. You know what? You're downgrading. It's fine. Oh. It's fine. Do you see this hair? I, I mean, he is taller than you. 
So it's not really a downgrade. Get to the you point. You seem matter. hurt. That doesn't matter to everyone. You all right? You guys doesn't, doesn't matter. You seem hurt. Get to the point. What, what, are, we, what are you doing? I'm going to eat because this is getting really tense. But I trust all of you. <laughs> Wait, that, especially do we look you. tense to you right now? Uh, I, uh, I can get rid of any sort of algae buildup inside. <laughs> algae. Like, ah, that's my specialty. I care. I'm really not to deal with my beasts necessarily. Oh, Miss. Wow. Ms. He's a fantastic worker. He's been doing stuff around. Thank you. Lots Actually, of stuff. This, this young boy over here has been more helpful than anybody so far. So, so. Well, we have a You're child. the volunteer. You're the volunteer. You're Voluntary. already doing amazing work. I honestly think I should... How old are you again? Eight and a half. Mm. So start. Birthday coming up, you know what I mean? I mean... Consider a managerial position. I might I'm toss that what? your way, maybe. I just whatever. think about that. Just think about that. And he's I mean, like very much looking past all of you two to this one kid. Uh, that would be kind of fun. Um, yes. I just a managerial. You said managerial position. Are there open? Are no. <laughs> Oh, I mean, <laughs> I just want to put it, there is an opening position. I have been at this museum for quite a while, and I do have a lot of understanding of all of, all of these, uh, uh, um, what was the word? Really? Was Didn't you start today? I've never seen you before. I kind of stay in the back. I am a tour guide. I don't know how I, well, I try to keep, I mean. Maybe you're just not very noticeable. I'm eight foot, eight foot but I am I just, Okay. Just because he's big doesn't mean he's noticeable. That's true. I well, here, listen. Let's just say a raise, <gasps> an upgrade of job, all of these things could be in the running if we can get this Alan Saddle exhibit up tonight. I want that in writing. I hmm? can do that. I, I can, have a quote I can, on oh, parchment right, right now, here. Right now. You should okay. write down that these positions are open and that it's possible for any of us to do so. Hmm. Mm hmm. I want a persuasion check, but also you're just being persuasive. As a party, just being like, you. Like, I can roll a persuasion Do it, yeah. Okay. Do it. Uh, how is, are people doing anything to lend to this? nonsense of like let's just i want it in writing is anybody doing anything i feel like that? i've just been kind of getting distracted <laughs> yeah. mixing something yes you want to give me the help oh yeah i, I will i will me, me yes this is a help we'll be like we were talking about a union right was, oh, a union. Yeah. oh let's not go there let's not go there we that is that would one three. Woo! <laughs> i mean we could always unionize instead oh Dude, would you like that? No, would you your love quilt? to be a union? Your, your quilt, your we quilt, can form please. our own guild. Uh, yeah. There's enough employees. We definitely qualify. Oh, and he looks across everyone's faces and says, "Okay, give me your quilt. It's fine." It's Thank fine. you so much. He yeah, is. I want a signature too. Writes it down. Writes out everything. Triplicate. Initial Signs here. it in print. I, yes. I don't want an upgrade. I want your office. You. You want my, my yes. office? Yes. Your office. Yes. But my stuff is here. Well, you'll get new stuff. Aren't you a level 20 or like champion or exactly. something? Exactly. Can't you lift your own stuff? He's gonna collect new things. <laughs> Persuasion. Okay, and I give advantage. advantage. Yes, <laughs> you're absolutely gonna get advantage. <clears throat> I, okay. Which we could have a nice new living quarters in our who are you again? Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> it's not like I was your roommate for 20 years, but that's fine. <clears throat> 11. What? What? I was, something was happening. Yeah, I was yeah, so excited. Yeah, yeah. It was like roommates. <laughs> oh my God, they were roommates. No, actual roommates. Um, so, so you see him, he starts writing down. He says, I will, it's kind of awkward that you're asking for my office after you haven't remembered that we were together for 10 years, uh, but oh, I, I will... remember that I just did not mention. Look, I've been in this office enough time. We might as well have equal uh, custody of it. Fine. Equal custody? You know, you might still be married if you made it more memorable. Mm, 
<laughs> Very good point. I know, right? Mm-hmm. I adore you oh, I so know, much. Too. Just love happening over there. He's like, <laughs> okay. We right. should get lunch sometime. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so I'm going to sign this the last time, in- initialize it the last mm-hmm. time, and we can get the Alvin Subtle exhibit up tonight. Can I ask what sort of an environment it needs? Like, at least some information, perhaps for the placard. We have no idea what it is. Like, what? how does it even look like? Do you have a something? Yeah, let's, we can go out right now and I can show you. Um, and Without releasing it from its confinement. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, absolutely. okay. Oh. Really? Everyone give me a perception check. Oh, no. Oh, oh fantastic. Oh, 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 I don't like this. <laughs> 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 we know what's going to happen. Perception. 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 Oh, that's a natural one. I, I oh, need to clean yeah. these. Yeah. Oh, I love one. Yeah. Yeah. Ten. Yeah. What'd you get to clear? Fourteen. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sixteen. Sixteen. So, Veda, um, Latrell, and... Oh my gosh, I'm just thinking of one name. Jaconi, sorry. <laughs> Jaconi. Jaconi Lenifkifer. I time. literally love it so much. <laughs> Jaconi, um, Latrell, and Veda, you all know. And what did you get on your check? <laughs> I got a natural one. Natural one, right. Um, <laughs> and I will say you rolled a 10. I rolled a 10. Okay. Well, the four tracking. of you notice um, that the red panda that. Mirius keeps on him at all times. Its name is Arlo. It is gone. Oh. And as you notice that, Mirius goes, "It's fine. Um, uh, here, I will. I'll get my, you know, my potion. Uh, and we'll go out and we'll capture the thing." And Where's I'll- your little raccoon? Mm. What? Your little no. raccoon cat thing. The your companion. Oh, Arlo. Your, your emotional animal. Where is I didn't notice. You know, the only one that stood by you all this time. Oh, don't remind me of that. We gotta go find him. We gotta you go find him. Uh, Arlo! I, didn't, I don't know where he went. He's he got an eye on it. He's got a responsibility of a pet, and you don't even keep it around. He's got a he's got I'm free will. I'm understanding why the divorce happened. <laughs> Listen, first, okay. We we'll do have very sensitive uh, uh, you know, exhibitions here. I'm sure if he got around, then things could happen. I mean, it's your exhibit. I don't want it to just go bad. I apologize. So you're, no, you're right. Let me... um. Let me get the Victor A and then we'll, we'll oh, head sorry, out. Did you see where it went? I'm actually on top of it right now, like pouring this mixture I've been working on this <laughs> conversation into the water. Yeah. And the opening just yeah. good. You should take care of the algae, don't worry. <laughs> so you're, you're over top of the... <gasps> yeah. You go and you open up the thing and you see this otter-like, feline-like beast. It's uh, huge. It's on its back. It's got slick black and blue hair okay. on its back. It's got spikes jutting out and its tail where you would like to see something very cute and small and fluttering is a large fist oh, that seems look. to be clawed oh. and this thing looks angry um as Don't you're take it up with me as you're pouring your solution into to help with the algae you do see arlo skitter up um arlo oh, scares no. up the thing oh, and arlo. he has a potion in his hand and he, oh. he goes <laughs> Pops it. <gasps> All right, yeah. He sees you pouring. He goes <laughs> and pours it in. Great. You pour it. You pour it. You pour it. The entire crate that this thing is sitting in explodes. <gasps> oh! Just all the planks of wood just fly out to the side. All of the liquid in this enchanted crate floods and enters in the other boxes. Oh, no. You all, not being there, you hear this crash with a flooding of water, and then you start hearing clicks, and clacking, and oh, rumbling, no. and monsters beginning to wake up, and that's where we're going to end this session. <gasps> we're what? gonna die! <laughs> <laughs> Three fucking times. We're gonna die. No, it's It's fine. It's just a fucked up otter.
Got him, coach.